you will hear these men testify that Mr. Wilde committed acts of gross indecency. You will hear from their lips. It is in this century misunderstood. So much misunderstood that it may be described as the love that dare not speak its name. I think Oscar Wilde is a role model for every thinking person. I think that the realization of oneself is the prime aim in life. And to realize oneself through pleasure is surely finer than to do so through pain. That is Wilde's personal mission statement, to invent one's own life, which he in effect did. He is the first of the great sort of self-invented media figures. In art, as in politics, there is but one origin to all revolutions. A desire on the part of man for a nobler form of life, for a freer method and opportunity of expression. I think all of us, or particularly those of us who have chosen to live in the arts, have a hint, at least, of what it means to be an outsider. Oscar Wilde was an Irish artist living in England, gay in Victorian societies. The play's author and director, Moises Kaufman, used court transcripts and the actual words of the people involved. With my own eyes, I saw you both in the most loathsome and disgusting relationship. The scandal began in 1895, when Wilde sued the Marquis of Queensberry, his young lover's father, for slander, having been called a supposed sodomite. The subsequent trial, which Wilde himself set in motion, opened up his life and art for examination. That what is on trial here is not the Marquis of Queensbury, but Mr. Wilde's art. He lost the slander trial and in the end was convicted of gross indecency and served hard labor. And the system under which I'm suffering, a wrong and unjust system. He died two years after his release at age 46, partly from injuries he received while in prison. Wilde's life became the first model for a homosexual identity. In the Wilde trials, it was the first time that the homosexual became a social subject, a persona. You know, people could identify, oh, you know, and then for many years people would say he was an Oscar Wilder. He became a noun. We, we're still wrestling with issues of censorship, with uh, issues of alternative lifestyles. The topicality of this play now is striking. So he says that the immoral thing is anything that is not true to the human spirit. Regardless of your ideas of homosexuality, the truth is that the trials destroyed a brilliant mind. And I think everybody's ashamed of that.